The Excellence of Meditation Upon the Bodhi Mind by the Seventh Dalai Lama Honor to Buddha, the Supreme Sage, the Cosmic Overlord, who awakens all beings from drunken ignorance by manifesting the hundredfold light of truth's brilliant door. Should even the earth be covered with a layer of lesser jewels, their radiance would be far surpassed by one fragment of a sparkling diamond. Similarly, does one with Bodhi mind outshine Hinayana followers. Of this thing called Bodhi mind, source of all spiritual qualities, the supremely significant, the psyche of a high one, the force producing all Buddhas, I now sing this praise. The expanded mind which thinks only of that which benefits others is a tree of endless fruit. One touch of its divine sap quenches even the word suffering. Merely looking at hunger and deprivation turns one's stomach with horror. Bodhi mind is the only medicine able to cure all forms of need, just as the Naga king's jewel fulfills the wants of even hungry ghosts. Animal passion which clouds the mind, animal stupidity blind to spiritual potential. The one sun to dispel them is Bodhi mind, torch of infinite rays. For destitute beggars at the door of the treasury of higher delights, Bodhi mind is the gatekeeper, and he fulfills mundane needs as well. Only Bodhi mind, the thought to be a Buddha, totally purges the ugliest of sins, sins which result in suffering, a fraction of which would break a man. It is a magic thing to destroy misery now and forever, a fabled potion to open the passage of a mother in labor. The soul thought on everyone's side, the precious mind aiming at enlightenment as a way to further the world was seen by Buddha to be the highest of spiritual means. For the sake of both yourself and others, plant the fertile seed of Bodhi mind, which quickly produces the state of Buddha, freedom from every limitation, and make it firm as a mountain. Buddha said, by cultivating the seeds of Bodhi mind, all spiritual qualities are born. Those who have developed it, he called kings of doctors. It can be read in both the sutras and sastras that the Bodhi mind is the door to the Mahayana, and that the supreme practitioner who attains it becomes a Bodhisattva, a son of the Buddhas. Whether or not one is a Bodhisattva, is decided by whether or not one has Bodhi mind. He is anointed with his sandalwood fragrance, is adorned by the richest of good qualities. Even the eagle, king of birds, cannot fly if he is missing a wing. Many find the wing perception of emptiness, but only those with the wing of Bodhi mind fly to the omniscient state of Buddhahood. Were the advantages of Bodhi mind to take form, the universe could not contain them. Generating it but for a moment produces more goodness than offering a world filled with the seven jewels to the Buddhas of the Ten Directions. This is but a drop from the ocean of the beneficial effects of Bodhi mind, all of which even Buddha could not describe. Therefore, wrap closely around your shoulders the cloak of love and enthusiasm. For this one path all Buddhas have trod and become a living legend of one attained to freedom and knowledge. By virtue of this song on the elixir which transforms gross beings into beautiful golden Buddhas, may all living beings attain to a state of expanded mind. <laughs>